The trees in the Bible, the trees that forest our state. We have so many trees, and if you go online and you look up Forestry New Hampshire, they'll talk about the balsam trees and the maple trees, beech trees, oh, all of them. But you know, in the Bible, we speak about the, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And then we look further in Genesis, and Abraham is visited by God's angel, the presence of God in this angelic form under the terebinth of Mamre. Mamre was a very fine gentleman and this property that he had was enormous and it points out that it was a terebinth tree right there and these trees were massive and they were important. Do you know from them came turpentine? And you know how useful turpentine is. I wonder why God chose that place. And then you know as we listen to the story of Noah when the floodwaters are starting to recede after 40 days and 40 nights of rain, the dove goes out and back, the dove goes back and forth, and then the dove comes back with an olive branch, the branch of an olive tree. Why? And what do we get from the olive tree? Well, first of all, they're very ancient, very old. They grow for years and years and years and years. They produce fruit, and the oil of the olive is so important, so refreshing. And there is a peacefulness of the ointment of the olive oil. How well it's spoken of that it glistens. There's another tree, the balsam tree. The Queen of Sheba, when she went to visit Solomon to find out his knowledge and wisdom, she brought an awful lot of gifts to him. And one of them was a slip of a balsam tree because the balsam had a perfume and it was an aromatic spice. It was something so good and valued that she brought us. And the Bible says she brought also a balsam for him, a tree that produces something of value, something good. And as we continue, we'll see that there are many trees, the oaks, the sycamores, we remember how they show up in the Bible. Well, each one different, each one receiving the same rain, watering throughout the earth, but each one is allowed and supposed to grow according to its nature. As God gives rain to each of these, and they grow according to their nature, so does he give grace to each one of us to grow according to our nature, to produce good fruit and enduring presence. God bless you. This Lenten season brings so much to us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.